Tonight, a break in a cold case nearly 10 years later. A man who made a fortune in real estate here in Houston was beaten so severely that he eventually died from his injuries. And now investigators are announcing an arrest has been made in the case with this man behind me charged with murder. Only on KPRC2 tonight, Jonathan Martinez spoke with a relative of that victim. Jonathan, what is he saying about the news of this arrest tonight? You know, Chris, that victim's family, understandably very emotional, telling us that an arrest in this case was long overdue tonight. They are simply thankful that someone is behind bars at the Harris County Jail. After nearly 10 years, we cannot believe that we finally at an end. It's a day relatives of 85-year-old Roland Darby Souter worried would never come. So much time was just passed and we had all given up hope. But on Wednesday, finally, news of an arrest in their loved one's murder nearly a decade ago. According to investigators, Souter was badly beaten up while being robbed at his home in November of 2011, and he died six months later from his injuries. It wasn't until several years later there would be a major break in the case in the form of DNA. Uh, sir, you're charged with the first <laughs> degree felony of murder. Police say 52-year-old Michael Anthony Cuellar was arrested in the Souter case. According to investigators, Detectives with HPD were looking into another unrelated 1998 cold case murder when a DNA sample provided by Cuellar matched the DNA found at the crime scene at Souter's home. It's believed Cuellar suffered a cut during the alleged robbery, causing him to leave behind blood throughout the home. The DNA that they found at the crime scene, they were able to match that DNA with this defendant's DNA. Amazing and, and shows... Uh, what, what great progress is made in, in investigations. Souter's family says more than anything, an arrest in the case means closure for them. Uh, speaking for the family and dear friends of, of Darby, we're so great, so grateful and so happy that this has finally taken place. And tonight, Cuellar remains behind bars with bond set at $100,000. We are reporting live downtown tonight. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC 2 News. Thank